Okay, chapter 10, part two. Someone was at the door. You need a tetanus shot, Roy said. Mullet fingers shook his head. I'll be okay. Is the dog still running around here? The boy turned inquiringly to Beatrice, who said, go ahead and tell him. Are you sure? Yeah, he's all right. She shot an appraising glance at Roy. Besides, he owes me. He almost got squashed in a closet today. Isn't that right, cowgirl? Roy's cheeks flushed. Never mind that, what about this dog? Actually, there were four of them, Mullet Fingers said, behind a chain fence. So how'd you get bit, Roy asked. My arm got stuck. Doing what? No big deal, said the boy. Beatrice, did you get some hamburger? Yeah, Roy's mom gave it to us. The kids sat up. Then we better roll. Roy said, no, you need to rest. Later, come on, they'll be getting hungry. Roy looked at Beatrice, who offered no explanation. They followed Mullet Fingers down the steps of the ice cream truck and out of the junkyard. Meet you there, he said, and broke into a full run. Roy couldn't imagine the strength it must have taken, considering his painful injury. As Mullet Fingers scampered off, Roy noticed with some satisfaction that he was wearing shoes, the same sneakers Roy had brought him. Beatrice mounted the bicycle and pointed at, at the handlebars and said, hop aboard. No way, Roy said. Don't be a wuss. Hey, I don't want any part of this, not if he's gonna hurt those dogs. What are you talking about? Well, that's what he wanted the meat for, right? Roy thought he'd figured it out. He thought the kid meant to take revenge on the dogs by spiking the hamburger with something harmful, maybe even poisonous. Beatrice laughed and rolled her eyes. He's not that kind of crazy, now let's go. 15 minutes later, Roy found himself on East Oriel Avenue at the same trailer where the foreman had hollered at him a few days before. It was nearly five o'clock and the construction site looked deserted. Roy noticed that a chain link fence had been erected to enclose the lot. He recalled the cranky foreman had threatened to unleash vicious guard dogs and he assumed they were the ones that bit mullet fingers. Jumping off the bike, Roy said to Beatrice, does this have anything to do with that cop car that got spray painted? Beatrice said nothing. Or alligators in portable potties? Roy asked. He knew the answer, but Beatrice's expression said it all. Mind your own business.